Good day! A little uh, product review from um, a product that I recently purchased at icstation.com. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for this wonderful product. And what it is basically, it's USB male and USB female. Basically, it's just something that you put in between a USB cable of a device that you're powering and it will give you basic data, voltage, amperage, and power that is being consumed by the device itself. So I have here a little project that uh, that I made, and I was curious to see how much power it consumed. So we go on ahead and plug it in. And of course, as you can see, the text is backward, which is awesome because now you have two little buttons on each side, and if you just press it, You'll actually switch the text up to normal. As you can see, I have a uh, five five point five volt power. Well, nothing's being consumed right now, and then uh, the amperage is also zero. So go on ahead and plug the other device. And then, as we can see, we are basically taking about. Uh, 40, 30, 40 milliamps, which gives give us about, well, let's say 26 milliwatt, uh, 260 milliwatts, sorry about that. And then as we can see, the uh, device is working properly. It's just uh, an altimeter, it's for a gift for somebody very dear to me. And um, I wanted to show you this wonderful product, so it's, is uh, we always wonder how much your USB device consume, are they safe? And especially in my case, since I do build lots of things powered by USB, it's always good to know that you're under a normal USB 1 and 2, I think it's 500 milliamps maximum, and then uh, USB 3, I think it's up to 1 amp or something like that. Uh, don't take me on for that one. I I would have to do some research, but I do have chargers that has uh, 500, uh, 1,500, which is 1.5 amp, and I also have some that goes up to 2 amps. So it's always good to know how much your device is actually consuming. Uh, let's say this lamp that you've probably seen in the other video. If not, well, you'll get a chance to see it right now in action. And at full brightness, you can see that this lamp takes about 20, um, 200 milliamps, roughly. So that's about just a little bit under a watt. So you can round it up to maybe a watt of, power, of light. And then if we dim it down to, uh, to zero, actually go to almost nothing. Now we go, we're not even registering anything. Well, there we go, 10 milliamps. All right, well, thanks for watching.